Hello everyone. Welcome to Python Guides. My name is Vineet and today we will learn how to use text widget in Python Tkinter. So these are the topics that we are going to cover. Let's get started. So a uh, text, uh, text box widget is a, a simple uh, text box that allows us to uh, insert multiple insert data in multiple lines. So uh, best example could be this text editor you can see over here. It is a text box kind of thing. Uh, it is uh, more of similar to a list box as well. So uh, let's see, let's run this code. So here you can see the right portion uh, is a text box and inside the text box, we have uh, uh, mentioned this information. So moving on the code, uh, we have imported everything from the ticketer. We have created WS as the main, main screen. And we have provided title, geometry and a background color. Then we have started an uh, infinite loop and then, uh, and then we have a we have created a message that we are going to insert inside the text box. Now, to create a text box, we have to use a keyword text with capital T, and then we have to provide where we want to place it. We want to place it inside our main window, that is WS. Height and width determines the size of the uh, text box. And then wrap wrap is used uh, to wrap the word. I will be explaining all of these in uh, detail. Then we have the layout manager that we are using is pack. And the reason behind using the expand equals to true is so that it will it will be placed in the middle of the screen. Now to insert a data, first, first uh, we will be using the insert method or insert, insert function. In, insert function takes two parameters. One is end and means uh, every time the data will be added, it will be added in the end of the uh, previous data. So in that way, it will be, uh, it looks uh, normal. And then the other argument that it takes is the message, the message that we want to pass. So here we are, we are passing this message. Textbox.config state is disabled. That means the user will not be able to make changes in the text box. So let's look into our topics. So first topic is disable the text box. So uh, this, you can see textbox.config, we have to change the state to disable let me run the program now you can see if i try to edit this i'm not able to do anything but if i have to uh, bring the bring this back to the normal i just need to type normal over here so now if i will run the program once again i will be able to make the necessary edits so uh, with this, we have completed the first topic that is to disable the text box. Our another topic is change the text box size. So the text box size is determined by its height and height and width. So height is the uh, height is you can calculate the height by just uh, just uh, calculating the rows. Like in, in this case, let me show you uh, in this text editor one to five. So this is till here, the height is five. If we will be going to uh, 10, then till here, the height is six. Oh, sorry, height is 10. Similarly, if we start counting from here, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So you can see the height is 12. And the width is the this part, uh, the right and left, so uh, each of these things, if we are going to calculate, including the spaces, each of the each of the character, then it will give us the width of the uh, width of the text box. So if we want to make changes, we can simply uh, let's increase the size of uh, width. Let's increase the width to fifty, and we just uh, make it fifty. Now let's run the program. Now you can see that it has been expanded and if we will count it again, it will be 15. So in this way, we can just change the size of the uh, text box, change font. So uh, in order to change font, we, uh, we simply need to provide the font. So it will be like font equals to the first parameter will be the uh, name of the uh, font that we are going to provide, let's say Arial. Then it asks for the uh, size of the font. So let's give it to 16. And then it will be a kind of styling or font weight. So it could be italic, 
underline or bold. Let me give the bold over here. You can pass all three arguments as well. So now you can see the text box is appearing bold and the uh, text size has also increased. So with this, we have completed this topic. Moving forward, add scroll bar. So in this section, we will see how to add a scroll bar to our. So to add a scroll bar, there are two methods. First is we can simply place the scroll bar on the uh, text box. But uh, the easiest and the best practice that uh, uh, that is to uh, uh, add a scroll bar is by adding a frame to the window. So what we can do, we can add a create, uh, we, we can create a new frame and then we, we can place text box and the uh, scroll bar widget inside that frame and we can then just align them to left and right. We want to uh, place the frame inside the WS, that is the main window, and we will replace this with frame. And now we will create a scroll bar. So this is the code to create a scroll bar. We have uh, provided the frame over here and the layout manager that we are using is pack and we have uh, put it in on the right side. Since we want, we want the frame on this side like this one over here. That's why we have packed it to the right side and we are going to pack the text to the left side. side. Now we have configured on the line number 32, we have configured the text box uh, with the Y scroll. Y scroll means up and down. So we are adding this scroll bar over here. Okay, so we have to uh, pack the frame. We have not packed the frame. That's why it was not showing. So let me show you if I just uh, don't put the expand over here. So you can see that uh, the window is appearing on the top. It's not on in the center. So if we will use expand equals to two. then it will appear in the center of the screen. So now you can see the scroll bar has been added into our program. And if we will write more text, then we will be able to uh, scroll it. This is the, uh, this is the vertical, uh, vertical scroll bar. We can also add the horizontal uh, scroll bar in the same way. Just we need to provide the X view over here. We need to change the Y view to uh, X over here and here. Moving forward, we have clear, uh, clear text box. To clear a text box, let's create a button. We want to place this button inside the frame and the text will be clear. Command will be clear. So this is the button that we are, uh, this is the function that we are going to create. And then, and then just pack this button and give expand equals to now let's create a function. Okay. Since it's a reserve word, so it's not a good idea to uh, create a function with the reserve word, uh, reserve keyword. So uh, let's say clear text box, clear D. So in order to clear the uh, text box, all we have to do is use the uh, delete function. So text box dot delete. And then we have to provide from where uh, we want from where to start deleting and where to end this end this deletion. So we want to start from the beginning, that is 1.0, and we want to end at the end. In case if you want, if you don't want to end it, uh, then you can just simply let's say if you if you have a signature on the top and the left, like you have a you have some some text that is on the top and some text at the bottom that you don't want to delete. So you can just simply provide the information over here. Like uh, you can just uh, 
skip those lines you can it will it will start delete deleting from the row 3 and in the end section you can just specify till 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 which line you want to delete so since i want to delete the entire thing so i just will write end let's run the program now you can see we have a button over here if i will click on clear all of the text will be deleted moving forward we have uh, how to get the value of text box let's say in case if we want uh, if we want to take the input of the user so in that case we don't need this message and let me just copy this message and we will be using it while providing input Let's create a new function, depth, or I can just edit the uh, same function. I can write get over here and the uh, line from where I want to start fetching. So it should be from line one to the end. Okay, so I have to comment this line as well because we are not inserting right now. Okay, let me do one thing that will make things simple. Let me keep this text over here and we want this to get this information and we want this information to be printed on the terminal. If you clear the terminal, okay, now let's run the program. Let's say user adds some more points over here. Keeps you healthy. Now, if I will click on the click clear button, I'm sorry, it is uh, showing clear button, but it will perform the get uh, function. So let me just increase the value. If I will click over here, you can see all the information has been printed over here. That means uh, that was available in the text box. So this is done using the get. Now we have a last topic that is text box word wrap. So word wrap is basically uh, it. If there is no space, like uh, let me show you here, here. Like if there is no space, the muscle word is split into two words, two uh, two words, and then it has been, uh, uh, it has moved to the next line. So in this case, it is uh, character uh, wrapping, since the characters are breaking. But uh, I will be showing both both the ways. So here we have written word that means. If the window size will uh, change, it will the, the the word will not break. It will just come into the next line. So you can see over here, uh, tone tones up muscle muscle. Let, let's make this on one word. Let's say tone up is the one word. Now you can see over here, tone up has came to the next line because it was not able to come over here. Now in the case of the second option. For this one is char, that is for the characters. So now, now the word will split into the characters. Okay, since uh, you can uh, use see this one, the your feed has been splitted into two words. Actually, it is not splitted; it just uh, uh, it has moved to the next word by the character. And the third option uh, for this one is we can just type the none in case if we don't want it. So with this, we have covered all the topics and for more videos like this, please subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.